the new user interface from Steam have rolled out for everyone. And a lot of users are having problems with lag and high CPU usage. So if you want to fix that, I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can do to eliminate lag and to reduce the CPU usage from Steam and their new user interface. Let's begin. For the first step, you want to open Steam and in the top left corner, you want to go where you see Steam and open the settings. When the Steam settings window is open, you want to go into the left side where you see library. Click on it. And here you're going to activate three different options. The first one is low bandwidth mode, low performance mode, and disable community content. As you can see, this is going to reduce bandwidth, improve library performance, and prevents automatic load of community content when viewing game details. This should help already a little bit with the problem of lag or high CPU usage. Another thing that you can do is to go into the interface and disable the option of enable smooth scrolling in web views. Now, if you are having still problems, one thing that you can do is to use the older user interface from Steam. To do that, you want to select a shortcut that you already have in your PC or you want to create one. Once you have done that, you want to right click into the shortcut that you want to use, select the properties, and right here where you see the target, the program files x86 steam, steam.exe, you want to type this right here, VGUI. Now you want to click into apply and into OK. Now when you open Steam with this shortcut that you have right here, Steam should launch with the old user interface. Check it out. And as you can see right here, you have the older user interface of Steam. And you're also going to be able to update Steam by using this interface. Now the problem is that when you start your PC, if you have the option that Steam run as soon as you start your PC, you're going to have again the new user interface. Now you can stop that or by checking the mark that this doesn't run when you open Windows, or if you want to have it, you can change that inside of the registry editor of Windows. For that, you want to click into the search bar and type regedit. Open the registry editor, and I recommend you guys that you right click into it and select run as administrator. Inside of the registry editor, you want to open the H key local machine, expand that menu. Now search the folder where you see software, expand that menu as well. Scroll down until you find the Microsoft folder and expand that menu as well. From here, you want to scroll all the way down until you find the folder of Windows and expand that. In here, you want to expand the last folder that is the current version. And you want to search for one folder that is called run. If you don't find Steam on this one, what you can do is to go back, close this folder, and go in this time into the H key current user. Once more into software, Microsoft, scroll down into Windows, current version, and in here, search for the folder where you see run. As you can see right here, you see Steam. Double click into the Steam key, and you want after the .exe to make one space and to copy and paste what we did before, the GUI and silent. Silent only meaning that this is going to open, minimize in the tray. Click into OK. Now you can close this window. And now next time that you start your PC, Steam should start with the old user interface. Let me know guys in the comments down below if this has helped you with your lag or high CPU usage problems with Steam. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content and you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe to the channel because this will really help me out. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.